Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I just wanted to do a uh, response um, to I'm pretty sure you brothers and sisters have saw uh, this latest video um, where you have uh, Alazar Bunloya uh, as the uh, elder Manata Zakba says here spewing mumbo jumbo um, and I don't know what was going on with him you know at the point of him making this video um, but what I do know is that ultimately um, when men start getting, you know, fame and when men start getting money, OK, the doctrine, you know, itself and the true work doesn't matter. And then, you know, as we saw this individual and his uh, group over the years, they've uh, done away with particulars of the Bible. All right. Um such as Paul's writings, all right? They say some of them are inspired divinely, but then they say others are adding to the word. So basically, Paul was on his own agenda, and particular things Paul wrote in his writings contradict what they want to do because these men's God is their belly. It's clear as day. You know, their God is their belly, and they're enemies of the cross, and we were warned about individuals like this, and I'm not doing this video to correct this guy because at the end of the day you know what more can be said than has always been said you know the the, the individual this individual is a child you know left to himself um this guy needs leadership and if we've uh if you've watched him throughout his walk you know which we knew him when he first came in um he's always had issues with you know uh Authority, male authority, Israelite male authority. So when he left us, you know, he went to the Mashara Yashala, and when they got on him, you know, Barack of HODC 12, the elder, um, that that didn't even work. So I don't believe there's nothing anyone could tell this individual to where he'll stop and say, damn, I am tripping. Because he's to the point where he's a celebrity now. And, you know, when the wrong individual gets fame, money, Okay, and everyone around him is saying yes, and you know, um, there's no correction and there's no uh, order, all right, and there's no true mindset towards what Yahweh Bashim Shai commanded us to do. Then ultimately, you are able to then establish your own belly as the gospel, as the doctrine, and do what the hell you want to do. And that's what we've saw over the years with these individuals. So, this is nothing new. Um, the whole thing with IUIC, which I'm rolling in the spirit. I mean, and the scriptures speak for themselves. We already know what the scriptures say concerning uh, this mindset these men are in. So, you know, what more can we say? I'm just going to uh, do a quick rolling in the spirit and speak on it. Um, we know the scriptures say mark them that cause divisions. But the thing is, these are Paul's writings. Now, we can go to Yahweh Shai's writings, and he says the same thing. You know, we can go to his disciples like... You know, the epistles of John, I believe first John, the second chapter, you know, he tells us uh, if, 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 if particular men don't consent to the doctrine. All right. Then have no company with them. Know them. So we know all of these things are in the scriptures. OK. And it's not like if we see a member of IUIC or a member of uh, Watchmen for Israel, we're going to start a fight. You know, of course, there's going to be uh, a cordial, you know, uh, a cordial spirit but when it's going to come to the word of the lord and us disagreeing in the scriptures we're going to have to just deal like men okay and um that's all we've ever tried to do is is deal like men according to the scriptures because souls are on the line now one of the things that alazar said is you know uh the saving of the nation you know is the uh should be the focus you know and what do you have to do to be saved? The first thing that you have to do, okay, is call on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Is that correct or not correct? Or am I just making that up? Or is that a standard, you know, that, uh, you know, Great Millstone just created? No, that's in the Bible. And you have individuals telling our people the name of the Most High is Most High. You can call him Jesus Christ, which is an idol. 
okay? Which is an idol. And, you know, these guys, you know, come to you with these fair speeches talking about keeping the laws. The laws where the law says take not the name of the Lord in vain. Okay, the, 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 the law says not to um, call on these other guys, not to make mention of them. And to make mention means, you know, to set up memorials. And that's what these guys have done. They've basically raised up a bunch of uh, uh, Israelite Christians. Because another thing, when you deal with the IUIC, they're teaching our people that they're not Hebrew. So they're not Hebrew Israelites. They don't have to call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, amongst, you know, many other... Uh, you know, the full moon is the new moon, you know, which I don't know where that came from. But I believe, you know, uh, you know, that's something that they just came up with. I don't know. So you're going to link with these individuals that teach the mark of the beast. Isn't something to worry about. Now, the scriptures tell you, if you take the mark of the beast, you can't be saved. You're going to be destroyed. So here it is. We're just going to come into this, uh, the, this, this, this great feast. And just make it whatever the hell we want to make it based upon our emotions and based upon what we want to do. And here it is. We're we're uh, myopic, which myopic, the Apostle Gabar brought it out. It's actually a compliment. It means narrow minded and stuck in the ice ages. Well, the scriptures told us to seek the old paths. You're the ones who came and tried to link the world. OK, with the gospel and look at the mess you've made. So the blood is on you all, uh, uh, you you all's hands, man. You came into this thing and made it into a gang, gang, you know, uh, and, and raising up men in the in the wrong mentality. Is first and foremost to establish something. Quite frankly, the Sakari weren't followers of Yahweh Shah. They were an off splinter group of the Zealots who wanted to take Rome down. Was Yahweh Shah's message to take down Rome? No. So they were doing their own thing back then. And here it is now in 2023, you have these individuals before Israelite men and women telling them that Paul's writings ain't the word of God. The book of Hebrews can't be validated. We don't need to do this. We don't need to do that. We can do what the hell we want to do. And it's a ooh and a ah, and we love it. Nobody's checking them. Nobody's saying, wait a minute, that's enough. Okay. And then when we say something about something, that's, that's, that's important. Like, damn, you, you just go. <laughs> <laughs> when you say something, then you're the hater. You're holding up progress. All right, everybody else is about a uh, uh, work. Which what is the work? The 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 work is starting with calling on the names of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, edifying and feeding the sheep, building the tabernacle of David. Which nobody talks about the tabernacle of David anymore. All right, um, you know, unless it's some weirdos saying that they're David or they're the fucking house of David and all of this other crap. All right. But that's what we're building. OK, when it comes to the work, that is the tabernacle and temple that we're building. The tabernacle of David. Is that not scriptural? Or are we building what the hell we want to build? No. And I find it ironic that when you go into history, the Sakari got uh, 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 got along with the wicked uh, uh, Pharisees, man. See? They got along back then, and, and, and they're, I guess they're building something now. But all it's going to take is for Nathaniel to rebuke or correct this individual here and tell him he's wrong about something for him to just rebel against Nate. So at the end of the day, you all uh, are left to your own devices, and good luck with it. You know, I'm not mad. We'll see how it works. We're, we're going to stick to our Ice Age <laughs> way of doing things, which is the building of the Tabernacle of David. All right, because everything that we're doing is supposed to what bring back an ancient mindset anyway. So we'll stick to the ice ages. We'll stick to the ancient way. We'll stick to doing the things that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach commanded. Because again, when you go back to the ancient Sakara, they wasn't on the same page as Yahweh Shai. You 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 all let these men get before you talking about some Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and this, but. When it comes to the mindset that the Sakari were in back then, they weren't in line with Yahweh Shai. Okay? So miss us with that. So, and they're not now. And the IUIC, you know, Watchmen for Israel and these other different groups, they go off on some very important things. All right? Now, do I believe that there's elect members amongst them? Yes. 
But our, our job is to build the tabernacle of David. So as we speak the truth, those who are from amongst them are going to see what's what, who's who and what's what. And they're going to repent because repentance ain't just a, a, a word. No, you have to repent in righteousness and in sincerity and truth. OK, and who are you repenting to? Most high Christ blessed. No, you're repenting to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that we are to call on to be considered to be delivered. That's the first step. And you have Israelites in 2022, 2023, all right, in these various different, uh, uh, you know, over the years that are just like, we're we going to do what the F we want to do, right? The instructions that we were given, all right, by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, all right, that's old. That's outdated. You know, the simplicity in Yahweh Shah is outdated, you know? We gonna do what the hell we wanna do. Now I've parked. So I'm gonna um get a scripture real quick. This is the book of uh let's get Psalms the twenty sixth chapter. And again, I don't wanna take too much time on this, you know. Because it's gonna be the same thing, you know. I mean this was the guy just a few like last year was growling and screaming, saying that we we uh what what did he say? Something you know, when it came to the fringes, look at this shit you're doing. Y'all probably took the jump shot, screaming and growling at the top of his lungs. Then another month, you know, I love my elders. You know, this is this dude is all over the place, man. Okay, and he's just not a leader at the end of the day. He's a young child who's been left to his own devices. Yeah, he knows some scriptures. He knows some history. He could be eloquent at times, but at the but when it, when it's all said and done, he's off, and he's been off. OK, and you individuals who uh, uh, who are following them when it doesn't work out and when, you know, you see that they're, they're you know, walking around with all of those guns and doing what you when you see that it doesn't work out, don't run your ass over to us. OK, just do your own thing. All right. Now, we've had particular brothers, you know, after that whole Passover fiasco who, uh, you know, kind of was like, you know what, we we out, you know. And we dealt with some of those brothers, you know, over time. All right. But at this point, if you still following these individuals and talking shit and you allow this individual to tell you Paul's writings aren't the word of God. Y'all getting confounded by Christians, you know, then, hey, man, when it doesn't work out, hey, I'll, may you how about Shimei Asha just be with you. Do your own thing, man. This is the book of. Uh. Psalms 26 and 4, I have not set with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. All right. Now, when you look up this word dissemblers, this is uh, David, I believe, speaking. But this word dissemblers is I lam. OK, to conceal, to hide. They're hiding the name of the Lord. They're hiding the fact that we're Hebrew from people. And you're going to openly, OK, oppose the men who taught you the truth. OK, to uh, uh, link and align yourself with them. And it's all based upon money. OK, and basically what they're saying, we're getting money. OK, we're bringing in, you know, the the uh, the, the masses of the people. OK, because they bring in a lot of numbers with the rap and with the, you know, the, the, the worldly vibration. And all y'all doing is just videos and talking about some doctrine, which the scriptures talks about the doctrine. But the most of those scriptures that we go to, if we were going to bring that out, are Paul's writings. So what this dude has created is a guerrilla Bible. OK, to where this don't apply. I can do this. Uh, 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 I can have long hair. I can wear a hat when I'm teaching. I can do what the hell I want to do. Paul saying that was right, uh, uh, adding to the word. We don't deal with uh, the niggas who add to the word. And you have people who are impressionable that are listen to that shit and say, you know what, man, you right. So now you see this new breed of Israelites popping up, just teaching the word of the Lord with backwards hats, wave caps on, hat over the wave cap. And it's like some 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 maniac dipset. I don't know what the hell to call it, man. All right. And when we deal with the work real quick. OK. Because it's all about saving the nation. All right. 
It's all about saving the nation. But shit, if, if somebody take the haragma or have a leader telling them that they could take it and then repent. What do you think is going to happen unto you? You're going to be destroyed. You're not going to be saved, man. According to the Holy Scriptures. And we're living in a time where the powers that be are, are setting all of these things up. But for some reason, you got a lot of Israelites in a weird vibe. And the Lord is making sure that it's being noted. And the scripture said that there must be heresies amongst you. All right. Therefore, those who are approved by the most high could be made manifest. So if nobody's calling out heresies, how in the hell are we going to know who got the truth? This is a. Uh, see here. Um, work of an evangelist is what I'm looking for. Salak here. Uh, this is Paul, so I don't know if we can read this, but this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 4. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. When you look up this word work, the work is ergon. Okay, business, employment, that which anyone is occupied. And what have we been occupied with? The true money, the true riches. And we got to flip it. We can't hide it under a napkin. So it's the preaching of the word. That's what, what guides the soul to uh, uh, be a part of the house. And what house is that? The house of David. Nothing else. We're not building any other building outside of the house of David. You got these individuals talking about we're going to have a temple and a kingdom offering up sacrifices. All right. The, 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 Le the Levit Levitical priesthood is going to still be in act. Now, we're going to do sacri uh, 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 ceremonial sacrifices, but we ain't going to have no temple to need a connection with our power in that day. The scriptures say we're not going to even uh, need the Ark of the Covenant. That whole priesthood is out of the door. We're under the priesthood of Malak Tazadak, but you got men still trying to bring you into that old covenant mindset when we're getting ready to be entered into the new covenant. But right now, we are to prepare ourselves by doing what? Bathing in the oils as the bride, the betrothed damsel to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. So that's our business, to prepare ourselves and those who are like-minded for the second coming of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And his name ain't no goddamn Jesus, man. You guys talk about the law. Well, the law in Deuteronomy 12 chapter says this. Deuteronomy 12 I refuse to build with a man that's teaching my people to call on Jesus Christ and that the name ain't Yahweh and Yahweh Shai after seeing his ass on camera in a hundred and uh, a one hour and 40 something minute video going hard for the name of the Lord. You got to question that. Then seeing on one of our apostles and said, well, I teach him the name of the Lord. I teach you how Yahweh Shai. Then get on video mocking the names. Not not apologizing for writing the names the wrong way in Hebrew and, and playing with the name of our Lord. You know, we would love for all Israel to be on the same page, but that's not how the Heavenly Father wrote this thing. So my God, our God can't be our belly. We can't go with how we want things to go. We got to go with the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Deuteronomy 12 and two, ye shall utterly destroy all the places where in the nations that ye possess serve their gods upon high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And ye shall throw down their altars. Remember the burn the white Jesus challenge. You shall break their pillars. You shall burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. So Israelites, when you come into this troop, you're supposed to destroy the name Jesus Christ, man. OK. This is very hypocritical, man, and it's important to salvation, the name of the Lord. But because, again, your God is your belly, and we'll end it off on that. And see, this is what happens when you get. OK, uh, uh, the scriptures say presence and gifts. Oh, man, let's get that real quick. Okay. Sirach 20 and 29. 
presence and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he can't reprove. So you're getting all of the praises of men. You're getting this money. And eventually the wrong person with that type of power and fame and money, hey, he'll go left. That's why I don't want too much attention, too much uh, uh, praises of men. Because that shit can go to your head. Anyway, Philippians 3 and 18. For many walk whom I have told you often and now tell you weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Hamashiach. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, and who mind earthly things. See? For our conversation is in the heaven. Okay, we, 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 we want to go back to the ice ages. <laughs> we want to go back to the ancient way, man. So you actually complimented us with uh, what you were using, you know, to be myopic. All right, you say, it's, you know, uh, when you look it up, short-sighted, you know, but it also means narrow-minded, meaning we're on a narrow path. We ain't looking to the left, we ain't looking to the right, we looking straight. Okay, straight to the the, the 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 kingdom of heaven, man. And the name of the most high God is Yahweh. The name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And we are Hebrew Israelites. And we ain't going to link with no school, okay, or no camp who teaches uh, contrary to that, man. All right, but when your God is your belly, okay, they are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. That's what you want. That's the vision you have for Israel. See, Yahweh Shah never said, gather with the wicked scribes, Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and all these various different sects who wasn't down with him, all right, for the sake of, of building something that looks good for the people. To hell with that. Okay, and the watchmen for Israel are breaking the scriptures down completely wrong in, in, in ignorance and pride. Okay, and our hope is that they repent and get it right. All right. But we know that there's going to be heresies amongst the churches, man. So, Lord willing, y'all are edified. There's nothing more to say. You all see it for yourselves. OK, uh, the, the, these things have been made manifest so that no one was is without excuse. You guys can come on talking this and that. And all right. But we told you all the truth and we stuck to our guns. All right. <laughs> Shalom.